Well, it's not ticking, so that's a good sign. I am hurting so bad this morning. I don't know if it has to do, um, I guarantee you it has to do with the trampolines. I am so sore. Eat a little bit of lunch, head home. Gotta finish writing an essay. Then I might try to go shoot some time lapses if it doesn't rain, because the weather still sucks. Well, my essay is finally done. The essay was mainly about information literacy. What does it mean to be information literate? And uh, it basically just kind of explains on how, let me read my notes, about how to identify, find, evaluate, apply, and acknowledge. Because it, the main concept of what people thought information literacy meant is the idea that you can read and write effectively and that's not the case it the what what it means is is by how you identify what type of information you need to search for how do you search for that information it's how do you like evaluate the information like is it a primary source secondary source how how reliable is that source then you need to apply it like how can you use direct quotes, paraphrase, stuff like that. And then how do you acknowledge where you got the information from. You stick to these vlogs, you're going to learn something. Even though I'm having to use cheat notes because I literally just learned all this stuff like a couple hours ago. So I don't remember it all. But you stick with these vlogs, you're going to learn something. Free education. Now that I worked all day and then I came home and finished that essay like too freaking dark to do anything I seriously hate how it gets dark so early like this really hurts when it comes to shooting a vlog All right, because I don't have anything else interesting to do for the day because it gets dark too soon I do have a problem that I need to address unfortunately nobody wants to help but because of daily vlogging you go through a lot like the footage takes up a lot of space and I have this and I've done the review on it. That was the first video I ever made. And there's only two two terabyte drives, so I have four terabytes total. Well, I never thought that I would be doing this and I'd be going through this much data. So the way I did it is the drives are independent of each other. So I have volumes on one and volumes on another. And all of the footage that I shoot for this daily vlog just goes on one of those drives. Well, if one of those drives fails, I'm in a lot of trouble. So I want to take everything off of there. It's, it's 700 gigs. I'm only on day 41, and I have over 700 gigs worth of footage just from the daily vlog. So I want to take all of it off of there and put it on here. Which is only a one terabyte drive, so I need to hurry up and do it before I outgrow that. Get it off of there and reconfigure it so everything, when you write to one drive, it copies itself and writes it on the other drive. So if one drive fails, you can put another one in and it rewrites itself and you won't lose anything. Unless you lose both drives, which is very rare. It's possible, but it's very rare. To, ma I, to make this quicker, I'm going to take this drive and install it in the computer. Instead of doing it, I have a thingy that I could use that's USB, but it would take forever. So I'm just going to plug it into the board. Transfer would be faster. Uh, I'll show you how to use Xcopy. It works a lot better than just drag and drop. No, this isn't the most secure way to do it, but I did put this paper here so it's not touching any metal. And then the wire is going to hold it in place so it's not going to move. As long as I don't kick it, we should be fine. 
you should definitely do it a lot safer way, but I don't have any caddy slots in the computer because I took them out. So we got to work with what we got. Okay, so there's the drive we just put in. We got 931 gigs available, which is just enough to do what I need to do. But before I take the freaking hours, that's probably going to take to transfer the data. We need to test it first. Okay, to test the drive, I'm just using Crystal Disk Info. There it is, and it's good. All right, so now to use Xcopy, you just have to type in Xcopy. The next line is gonna be where do you wanna copy the data from, which in my case, it's on the network drive. So here is the destination, or here is like its location. So we're just going to copy that in Windows 10. You can copy and paste in command prompt. Paste that in there. The next bit is going to be where you want the data to go, which in this case, it's going to be on that drive in a folder that I created YouTube to. There's its path. Copy that. Paste it in here. Now to get all of the directories and subdirectories, basically all the folders and folders within that folder, you're going to put in forward slash s. Now that's only going to copy stuff that has data in it. If you want folders that are empty, you need to space it and then put forward slash E. So that will be empty and then that's all, everything else. You hit enter and she starts. Well, this is probably going to take all night, guaranteed. I mean, like I said, we're talking over 700 gigs worth of footage. And I have other stuff that i got to copy later. We're going to be here a while. So I think I'm just going to pick back up on it tomorrow. I know this vlog kind of sucked. It's just one of those days. But I promise I'll make up for it tomorrow. <laughs>